Do you remember these creepy kids shows? Here's what your favorite one says about you. Some episodes of this cheesy offbeat horror anthology still haunt you to this day, and it either made you a horror fan or completely put you off to the genre altogether. It's also responsible for at least one or two of your irrational phobias and your love of Canadian media. You have a lot of black clothes and expired eyeliner sitting around with a surplus of stuffed animals to make the dark cave you inhabit feel a little more cozy, and I just want to wish you well on your goal to becoming the kindly spooky goth queen you were born to be. This show taught you how to weaponize your anxiety to protect yourself and the ones you love. Some of us are just shouldered with the responsibility and full time job of being able to see the writing on the wall and the danger lurking around every corner. You're probably British or Australian, and you're probably traumatized, but not from this spooky kids show, just from the normal generational stuff. You're the human version of that smell that hits you in the face when you walk into the rubber mask aisle at a spirit Halloween. Toilet humor is second nature to you, and you love bizarre things for the sake of their strangeness alone. To you, the weirder something is, the more magic it has. You're a meme goblin. The amount of out-of-context jokes you make is frankly confusing. You aren't trying to entertain anyone but yourself, and you are succeeding.